my workspace, my desk, my setup is messy. It's cluttered, it is chaotic, and it's loud, and it's noisy, and it's full of distractions, and it's just, I'm just over it. It is high time for me to create my ideal space to make stuff. My new battle station, you know, everything a creator would need in a setup. New year, new me. I guess it's fab, but anyway, let's get into it. This is where my cool uh, lo-fi music intro or uh, sort of, you know, rocky uh, opener would start to get everyone really hyped up for the video. But of course, I can't do that because it's uh, ASMR and uh, we don't do that here. So no time lapses to really hype music or no super sexy slow motion shots. No, but this is going to be hype in its own way. It's going to be good vibes, good sounds, and actually, just why not? We'll put some ambience in there too. Get some rain sounds. Cozy. Cozy, cozy. I'm going to mess you set up. No, I'm not. Let's get going. But uh, these sorts of videos are my favorite things to watch. Uh, the majority of the YouTubers that I follow are designers, photographers, creators, you know, and, and whatever, illustrators. And um, them sort of creating their own sort of zen space. It's just a, a, a sound assortment of fantastic, tiny, tiny, tingly sounds. So 
This is a desk accessory. We'll get to that section of the video at some point when I start furnishing the battle station. But I think to start, we need to actually assemble the thing. Uh,
It's at this point that I should probably mention that uh, this fantastic standing desk was provided for me by the legends at Flexi Spot. Um, this is really cool. I think Flexi Spot sort of took off on TikTok over the past couple of years, but they make, as we can see here, a very intuitive uh, to put together and very, very nice quality standing, sitting desk. I've never had one of these before. So, I'm incredibly excited. Let's just do that again. Okay, this is where we're at. This is gonna form the foundation and basis of our creative haven. Our new, I should I say our, my new ultimate desk setup. So, we've got the desk, we've got the coffee. The plant's name is Justin. Because of the frosted tips. Got some greenery good it's looking better already next it feels a bit of a shame to cover up this fantastic i think it's cherry wood top but i create asmr and i need to cover up these very reflective surfaces with something to dampen down the sound so i sourced from uh, the lovely folks over at grove mate and they haven't paid me to say anything about them i just like their products. Um, a few desk accessories that should hopefully make the space feel a little bit nicer. And if you uh, vibe with any of the products that I talk about, I will include links to most of them in the description box below. I imagine some of them will be affiliate links, so I would get a small kickback if you were to purchase any, but as I say, Grove Mate are not paying me to say anything. I mean, it's certainly large, but as I say, I sort of need something this big, so that nice sounds don't bounce off and create horrible reverb actually let's go a bit higher with the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing not that there's any uh, particular rhyme or reason to this you may be thinking at this juncture Atlas your desk before wasn't actually that bad I've seen worse and fair enough if you are thinking that but I don't know. We spend, well, I spend 80% of my waking life at this space. And every once in a while, I need to re energize it, you know, re center the vibes and make it feel a little less lived in and more fresh, exciting, 
and one. And this is that exercise. Who knows if it will be better? It may not be. Now, this is a desk shelf that I commissioned from someone from Etsy. I think Grove may do a similar version. Helps sometimes just to give your workspace another level. This feels like Christmas. Two new presents to myself. Again, from Grovemate. And again, they haven't paid me to say this. This is a little pot plant. Minus the plant, sand plant. It's a little pot. I presume at some point a plant will go in there. And this is a new, rather fetching, laptop holder. To which I will be inserting the Apple M1 MacBook. I don't know why this has turned into a video where I'm just showing off tech, but I like watching these things. <laughs> that is very satisfying. Let's do that again. for a while which keyboard I wanted in my new setup because historically I've been using this reasonably nice sounding Apple keyboard however for a recent video I bought this mechanical keyboard which just sounds pretty heavenly So, this one for now, I reckon. I mean, aesthetically, I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's very reminiscent of mechanical keyboards from like the 90s. But, I think just how good it sounds typing. More than makes up. Yes, okay, this feels right, this feels good. pen tablet because I'm a graphic designer and I swear by these things. Let's put that over there. Great. And my mouse of choice, again, I don't know why this is a gadget video all of a sudden, but it is, is the uh, Logitech MX Master, which I really, really like. Okay, this is starting to come together very nicely indeed. Zen. Uh, you might have noticed that I don't yet have a uh, monitor. I'm going to save that for last, I think, because that will probably sort of eclipse the uh, general view here. And I want to make sure that it feels sort of nice and tightly arranged before the monitor goes on. You know? For the sake of symmetry, and also because, funnily enough, what I do at my desk often you might be surprised to learn, is make sounds. And I often have to dub some of my videos with other sounds. So, that's not plugged in. Good, 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 okay. This is all working for me. These wouldn't be anything unless they're plugged into something that captured their sound. Now, I use from a recent recommendation from uh, the best man, Sean, who is editor to a great number of very talented ASMR creators. 
is the Zoom LiveTrack L8. This is a recent uh, audio interface slash mixer purchase for me, but it's very, very cool. And of course, it uh, enables me to plug quite a few uh, inputs into that. And of course, the main reason that up for myself and actually look at it I don't mind how the mat doesn't quite go to the edges I mean I didn't measure any of this out this is a happy accident um, because it gives the cherry wood a chance to uh, shine a chance to come through okay what next everyone needs a good notebook and this is mine beloved of course because it is beautifully leather bound and comes with a uh, rather nice pen. Anyway, that for the time being can live right in the middle. Why not? I often find these desk, these minimalist desk setups, all often using the same uh, style products, can look a bit sort of sterile unless you add your own flourishes. So, one of mine is this clamp here that I like to keep my headphones on and uh, the piece de resistance is this huge ridiculous monitor that goes on a uh, monitor arm that I'm going to awkwardly clamp to the front of the desk is where I think we conclude today's desk setup refit. It's been fun and I am uh, really, really happy with the new setup. Not least because it's on caster wheels and I can move it around anywhere. And obviously, so cool. <laughs> Thank you again to Flexi Spot for hooking me up. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I never get to do an outro, so feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. All right, catch you guys up. <laughs>